Hey guys, welcome back to Robot in Three Days here at Kettering University. We are currently working on our robot here. You can see we got a little bit of our uh, superstructure all made here. So we use this uh, material from Vex Pro. So it is just one by one aluminum and it has all of these holes that are all an inch um, apart uh, already drilled in it. It's really nice for making some quick structures like this. And there's also some little gussets that you can use for riveting that, you show, uh, that we showed uh, kind of to put it all together. Um, this is a really great, easy way to put together a structure um, really quick, and it's also pretty light, too. Your destination for first content, updates, and gaming. Welcome, Welcome to, to the fun. First updates now is supported by Kettering University. Over one-third of Kettering's current students are former robotics team members. Go pro at Kettering University and get a free t-shirt. Students in grades 8 through 12 and located in the continental U.S. scan the QR code and complete the form by January 31st, 2022 and receive more information about Kettering. So why the VEX 1x1 tubing that we have? So it's actually nice and lightweight. It is aluminum. There's a lot of nice spacing that are just one inch holes already there. This allows us to mount things anywhere, basically. Um, we actually have two different sizes of it. The top structure up here is actually the 1 16th inch uh, thickness walls, so it's very light. And then on the bottom here, we had um, 1 8th inch thickness. The reasoning is it's just what we had um, to be able to use. What's also really neat about this is like on the base of the chassis, we had just used regular nut and screws to attach it, but then up here we decided to use rivets. Again, it's just what we had available to us. Um, but that just allows you, it allows this to be more versatile and allow you to attach whatever you want to it. Um, so it's doing, it's doing really well for us. And as you see, we have our structure, but now you might be wondering, okay, where is everything else on the robot? So the intake is actually going to be branching across the front here. And we're going to have two different like pulley systems. So if you were to bring the ball in over on the this side over here, there's going to be a polycorb coming over towards me to then feed into another polycorb to go straight back to then lead into more that goes up, which will lead to the shooter. And the shooter is either going to be facing forward or backwards. Um, so that's where that is. And then in this back corner here is where we're going to have our hanger. So that's right now what we got going for you all. Also, another info with the, with the intake, the intake is actually going to go over the bumper, so that will come over and we'll be all good. And we can intake either from either side. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Please continue watching our videos about the robot in three days with Kettering University Bulldogs at First Updates Now YouTube channel. Thanks to Kettering University for their support of this video. Over one third of Kettering's current students are former robotics team members. Go pro at Kettering University and get a free t-shirt. Students in grades eight through 12 and located in the continental US scan the QR code and complete the form by January 31st, 2022 and receive more information about Kettering. Thank you to Annie Mark, Rev Robotics and the Thrifty Bot for being official suppliers of the Bulldogs Robot in Three Days. Don't forget to like, subscribe and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now and check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.